If you want to learn how to make your own personalized orange juice labels using your Cricut, then keep on watching. Victoria Cherie here with Pretty Party and Crafty. Let's jump right into it. The first thing that we want to do is make sure that we have Cricut Design Space open and that we start a new project. So top right corner, we want to select New Project. Now that we have a new canvas open, we're going to upload our template. So on the left side panel, we're going to select Upload. We're going to select Upload Image. So there's two ways you can bring in your image. You can click here for browse and find it, or you can already have the folder open and just click and drag it in. So with the juice labels cut files, you have different options. So if you have a silhouette and you use the basic edition, you would bring in DXF. Um, you could also bring in the PNG or you can bring in the SVG. So I'm going to bring in the SVG and I'm just going to click and drag it over and release. Okay, and I'm just going to label this orange juice. And select upload. Okay, now that I have it uploaded, I'm going to select it. And the bottom right corner, I'm going to click add to canvas so now we have it on our canvas and i'm just going to right click and ungroup this and if you notice i do have some text included and it's just to let you know what size this label should be so if you ever accidentally resize it you can always look at this again and the width is 1.69 and the height is 3.92 one nine that should be in specific so again if you ever accidentally resize this this gives you the exact dimensions for it all right but i'm going to just go ahead and hide this because i don't need to see it and we can zoom in so i'm just going to zoom in closer so we can see what we're working with All right, so at this point, you can start adding your text. You can bring in your images. So I do want to bring in my graphics. So let me do that as well. I've already uploaded the template. Now I want to bring in my graphics. So again, you can click browse or you can already have your folder open and you can just drag it over. Okay, and I want to bring in an orange. So I'm just going to grab this. And for upload image, I always like to select complex. Select continue. Apply and continue. And I want to make sure that I select print then cut image. Label orange. Hit upload. At this point, I'm just going to speed up the video because I'm repeating the process for uploading my graphics. Remember, you can find the links to the graphics and the template in the description, so be sure to check that. Now that I have these three things added, I'm going to go ahead and select all three by holding down the shift key and clicking each one. And then I'm going to select add to canvas. Once we have our graphics added to the canvas, we're going to resize them by clicking and dragging the top right corner. We want to make sure that the graphics are small enough that it will fit on top of the label. You can rearrange the graphics by moving the layers for each item in the right side panel. And if you're going to add text, you want to make sure that the graphics are towards the bottom of the label. Next, after we have our graphics arranged, look on the left side panel and you're going to click the T for text and I'm going to type out orange juice. At the top, I'm going to change the font to Arial. So I'm going to just type Arial out and select Arial. And then I'm going to select the style and I'm going to change that to bold. Now I'm going to resize it just by clicking and dragging and I can give it an arc or a curve by selecting curve at the top and dragging the slider. Once I drag it, I'm going to resize it again and I'm going to change the color of that. So next to basic cut, I'm going to change that to white and change basic cut to print and cut. 
Now I'm adding some more text. I planned for this to say simply Ashley, but I changed my mind. So when I went to my fonts, I'm looking at my system fonts because I have a font called Angel Heart, if I'm not mistaken. And I think this is a really cute font for this design. So the, again, the name of this font is Angel Heart. I'll list it in the description. And I'm just adding my text. It says Cutie Ashley. But then I want to add additional text. I'm putting our little at the top. And then at the bottom, I'm putting is turning one at the bottom. So again, add your text. You're going to resize it to make sure that it fits. And then you're going to change the colors. So you can select the text. Next to basic cut, select your colors. Also, change that operation to print and cut. And at this point, you're just going to do a little fine tuning. Make sure things are arranged as you want them. Make sure they're centered, they're aligned, they're close to the edges. However, you like fine tune it. At this time, I'm going to select everything. And at the bottom right, I'm going to hit flatten. All right, so now we are ready to cut this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a print sheet because I wanna be able to print and cut as many as I can. So on the left side panel, we're gonna select shapes. We're just gonna click on a square and we are going to unlock that and we're going to set the dimensions for this to 6.75 by 9.5. Two, five. Okay, we're going to send that to the back and I'm going to zoom out. I'm just clicking um, control and the minus sign. All right, so now I'm just going to make duplicates of this to fill up the page. We're just making duplicates and what we want to do is fill this sheet so that it utilizes the most space. So if you need to, you can rotate things to get the best usage out of your space. So once you have duplicates, uh, make sure that you select everything. And after we have everything selected and centered, what we want to do is attach. So you'll right click and select attach, then we'll delete the background. All right, so let's make it top right corner, click the green make it button. And then we're going to get ready to print. So we're going to hit send to printer and there's some things that we got to change. So first, make sure you select your printer. We want to have bleed on and system dialog on as well. We're going to select our printer in the system dialog, click on preferences, um, select your paper source. I'm using the rear paper feeder. I am going to change my paper type I'm printing on glossy paper, so it's gonna be photo paper glossy. Quality, I'm setting mine to high. Then I'm gonna to go to more options. This is my preference. Color correction is custom. Co color controls are selected. I'm gonna change it to Adobe RGB 1.8 gamma. And then I'm gonna select okay. Those are just my preferences. And then hit print. I'll be printing on our waterproof glossy vinyl sticker sheets. It is linked in the description. Perfect for this. Material. We just got it printed. Now we're setting the base material. So I'm going to click browse all material. And what I want to do is look for vinyl. So I'm just going to scroll down. You can definitely type it in, but I'm a scroller apparently. Okay, so um, I'm just going to actually select, you could do printable vinyl, but I'm going to select stencil vinyl and I'm going to hit done. And I found that this works um, best for when I want to do a kiss cut. So that's why I selected stencil vinyl because I only want to do a kiss cut. Now we're just going to go through the on-screen steps and it's going to go ahead and cut it out for us. I'm using my Cricut Maker 3 to cut my glossy waterproof vinyl sheets. Now I know some people do have issues with their Cricut machines reading or registering glossy paper. Um, for me, I've used a Maker and a Maker 3 and I've never had issues. If you're using an Explorer, definitely try the matte tape trick or try drawing over it with permanent marker. All right, so remember we chose the stencil vinyl setting. That's because we wanted to do a kiss cut. So these are going to be easy to peel because they're not individual stickers. They're still on the sheet. And as you can see, it cut beautifully. 
Now, with this template, it is large enough to cover the label that's already on the bottle. So if you didn't want to waste your time taking off each individual label to cover it up, don't worry about that because the label does cover it up completely. So hopefully you learned something new. Be sure to hit that follow button, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Later, y'all.